What's it to you? It's a remarkable new polyester film called Mylar. This sheet is as thin as a human hair. Can you tear it? It's almost impossible. Can you bend it? Yes. Does it dry out, get brittle, the chip peel or crack? No. Is it a new kind of cellophane? No. Is it uh, similar to other transparent films on the market? No, it's completely different. But uh, what does this have to do with you? Or maybe in your business you've never used a transparent film. Even so, Mylar's combination of properties is so new, so completely different, that no matter what your business is, you may find that it can improve the design and performance of your products, or lower their costs, or give you an idea for a completely new one. Uh, to begin with, how tough is it? Well, let's look at its tensile strength. An acrobat gives the net on a trampoline a pretty rugged beating. Here, we've replaced the canvas net with a sheet of mylar, only one-tenth as thick, and it's as strong as ever. What about its resistance to tearing? We can see for ourselves. And its impact strength can stop a six-pound bowling ball at full speed. High tensile strength, high tear resistance, and high impact strength. In short, Mylar's physical properties make it the strongest of all plastic film under a wide variety of conditions. How does this strength hold up at high temperatures? Well, let's keep a blast of hot steam on it and see. Now let's try the ball again. All right, let's try it at freezing temperatures. We freeze the mylar with carbon dioxide from an extinguisher. And now, let her roll. It still holds up. Yes, we'll find that mylar retains its useful properties from minus 80 degrees to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's one way of showing mylar's chemical stability. A strong solution of nitric and sulfuric acids, and now some plastic and metal trinkets. And now, let's leave them for a moment. Mylar has exceptional resistance to most chemical reagents, solvents, and commonly used electrical varnishes. Even after a whole week, See what we mean? Oils and greases fail to penetrate this film after months of exposure. What about acids? And certainly eating up our trinkets. What about the mylar? As a matter of fact, this similar experiment has been standing several hours and the mylar isn't affected. Yes, mylar is resistant to most solvents, alkalis, and acids. Physical, chemical, thermal, electrical. Here's a spark of about 15,000 volts. We'll try to break it with this sheet of ordinary insulating material. And 
Now let's try a sheet of mylar. One fifth as thick. We can break the spark not once, but many times. And with a thinner sheet of film. Yes, Mylar's unexcel combination of properties makes it ideal for electrical insulation. It has high dielectric strength and insulation resistance, lower power factor, and high volume and surface resistivity. These properties retain their efficiency at high and low temperatures, extremes of humidity, and in the presence of corrosive vapors and solvents. Physical, chemical, thermal, electrical. The significant fact about mylar is that it has not just one of these properties, but that it possesses a unique balance of them all. How is this done? Does mylar have a special coating or ingredient that in time might wear out or lose its value? For the answer, let's look at an artist's conception of a mylar molecule. In the manufacture of mylar, the arrangement of molecules is changed from a helter-skelter pattern, such as this, to a more orderly arrangement in which the long, strong chains are firmly fitted together, giving the film unusual properties. Yes, mylar's properties are right in its molecules. Here are its two basic raw materials, terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol. In actual production, of course, the processing is quite complicated. It's important to note that no plasticizer is used in the processing. This means that the final product will not dry out and become brittle with age. It comes off the end of the line as a clear, transparent plastic film. Production controls throughout the entire manufacturing process ensure exceptional and consistent quality. Mylar's strength enables it to be manufactured from semi-rigid gauges down to one four thousandth of an inch, or one fourth as thin as the cellophane on a pack of cigarettes. Let's have some more facts about this polyester film. Because of its remarkable versatility, it can be used to obtain effects that are both beautiful and practical. It prints beautifully. It can be metallized. It can be laminated or bonded to wood, metal, cloth, paper, leather, plastics, and a variety of other materials. It can be coated. It can be fabricated, stamped, cut, or spiral wound or it can be formed under heat and pressure into a variety of designs. Mylar's versatility and its balance of properties suggests possibilities limited only by our imaginations. Let's look at just a few. Some are still ideas, some are under development, some are already in use. Let's take its physical and chemical properties. These qualities give us walls that keep their original colors, protected by this new washable film. In fabrics, glamorous mylar metallic yarns are stronger, non-tarnishable, 
withstand washing, dry cleaning, and pressing. Draperies can take on exciting new effects. Shoes and accessories with metallic laminations open up new ideas in fashion design. New low-cost furniture in quality designs may be made possible by printing wood grains or other textures on the film and laminating it to ordinary wood. The next step may be vinyl coverings protected by mylar for greater toughness and long-lasting beauty. Physical, chemical. Let's add a third property, thermal, and see how it helps extend the usefulness of our film. Ideally, recording tape should have dimensional stability, despite variations in humidity and temperature. Today, mylar is being widely used because it's the only known base film that meets this ideal. And because mylar is so much thinner and stronger, you can get 50% more tape on a standard reel. Here's a loop of tape that runs through a container of dry ice. Let's listen to it. From dry ice to steam, that's about the range of temperature handled by mylar. From dry ice to steam, that's about the range of temperature handled by mylar. From dry now let's ice turn on the heat. to steam. That's about the range of temperature handled by mylar. From dry ice to steam. That's about the range of temperature. Our film's physical, chemical, and thermal properties enable its electrical properties to be maintained under a wide variety of conditions. These same properties make it possible to decrease the size and increase the efficiency of capacitors, coils, transformers, and motors. Mylar gives more insulation, more resistance to heat, and longer life. Spiral wound mylar on low voltage wires offers excellent primary insulation. In wires and cables, they provide a lightweight, compact and dependable moisture barrier under all weather conditions. Here's still another advantage. Let's suppose a mylar insulated motor has been caught in a hurricane or flood and contaminated by silt and water. The mylar insulation has very little moisture absorption and will not absorb contaminants. So, we can simply hose it off. In fact, at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% relative humidity, mylar will pick up less than one half of 1% moisture a negligible amount. Unlike ordinary insulated systems, mylar insulated systems can be washed out easily, leaving the windings nearly as good as new. Now we'll give it a blast of air to remove the surface water. And then, turn on the motor. While we're talking about moisture, here's a revolutionary material for the building industry. For structures where controlled temperatures and humidity are important, strips of foil laminated mylar form an almost impenetrable barrier to moisture. Pipes carrying coal fluids tend to condense moisture inside the insulation, cutting down the insulating efficiency. An outer covering of mylar provides a barrier to both moisture vapor and corrosive gases. 
factory fabricated sections are easier to install, are scuff proof, and easy to clean. Pressure sensitive and industrial tapes of all kinds take advantage of all of these properties. And they last indefinitely without discoloring, drying out, cracking, chipping, or peeling. And color tapes are perfect for line identification, too. And the superior strength of the new film can be put to use in tapes for strapping or bundling goods from pallet size loads to small retail units. Another useful characteristic is gas or organic vapor impermeability. Tests in laboratories show mylar has exceptional resistance to odors of aromatic chemicals. But since these tests were made by nasal perception or smelling, they're just about impossible to prove in a picture. But I think uh, this will give us the idea. One of the most interesting of all applications of this new film is in packaging. Now, for the first time, items like textiles, large packages, toys, things that have always presented problems for transparent packaging can be handled with this new film. Here, almost every Mylar property is put to use. Chief among these are the film's dimensional stability, durability, moisture vapor proofness, and its transparency. Here's a package of sheets that have been wrapped in this new film for six months. During all that time, it was subjected to a wide range of temperatures, but now, Let's put it through some of the treatment it may uh, receive before reaching the customer. We'll crush it. And punch it. And drop it. Not a crack or break anywhere. And the packaging is just as flexible as ever. What else about packaging? Can it be sealed? Yes. Can it be handled on automatic equipment? Yes. Can it be printed? Yes. Now just to give you an idea, let's look at a few packaging applications. Window cartons, all kinds of textiles, from baby garments to sweaters, women's gloves and hose, blouses, dress shirts to pajamas and towels, stationery, an almost infinite variety of new and interesting packaging applications. What's it to you? A good question. We've only touched on its possibilities in the home and industry, manufacturing and distribution. But the wide range of properties of Mylar allows us to explore a whole world of ideas we never dreamed existed. It gives us a whole new approach to decals and all kinds of longer lasting signs. It brings a new line of thinking to the metallized yarn industry and it can give us new corrosion-resistant ropes. Just think of all the ways you can use its dielectrical strength in wire splicing and identification. It opens the whole new field of washable acoustical tile. And it's great as an inner lining for shipping drums, for chemicals, lard, detergents, petroleum products, and so forth. Or 
in multi-wall shipping bags for all kinds of industrial and consumer goods. Just think of its possibilities for the air filter industry, using mylar in the form of shredded film. Or imagine putting it to work in the publishing industry, making book bindings stronger and more durable. Or what about a shoe says, facing sheets for stencil and carbon papers? How about putting its greater strength and durability to work in children's records? And two, there are possibilities in it for packaging of foodstuffs. The bottling industry, cap liners and sealers. This film, next to the skin in surgical dressings, is non-toxic, non-adherent. It has many possibilities for the pharmaceutical industry as packaging for articles to be sterilized. Oh, and here's an idea too for oils, greases, or dairy products. Mylar line disposable containers. Mylar yarn adds glamour to practical wear. Yes, you can put it to work at everything from packing pickles to patching windows. In the automobile industry, Mylar may give us rich new designs in places never before practical. Its stamina and greater resistance to abrasion are already being used to protect parts exposed to dirt, wear, and tear. More and more, the properties of this new polyester film are bringing new ideas to industry and the home, to manufacturing and distribution. And with them are coming new and better things for us all. What's it to you? As we said, a good question. With Mylar, you can pick your own answer. An answer for some product you're making today or some product you may be planning for tomorrow.